Good morning. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, and here are today's assignments. Checking in, zones of regulation, how are you feeling, what zone are you in today? Remember, we have our office hours this morning at 10 o'clock. If you have any questions or need a little bit of extra help, please log in at 10 o'clock and um, I'll be there ready and waiting for you. Reader's workshop today, 30 minutes of independent reading. Find a cozy, quiet spot, build your stamina, and our teaching point today, readers notice what the character is saying by thinking about why the character's quote is important. So yesterday, we talked a little bit about quotes, and we know that quotes um, is something direct that a character says. So I want you to find uh, another quote today in your story, and I want you to think about why is that quote important. I did do a little um, sample in the video just to kind of help you along a little bit. I chose to continue reading uh, Days with Frog and Toad, and I also chose to still focus in on the character of Toad. Uh, the quote that I chose was, now I can save tomorrow for something that I really want to do. And you'll see that in the video. I thought that quote was important because um, it shows that Toad had learned a lesson. And if he works hard today, he can relax and have fun tomorrow. But I do want you to go ahead and watch that little video. Um, I explain it a little bit further. So your job is to look for two quotes. It can be the same character or it can be two different characters um, and explain why that quote is important. Okay, record your reading. Jump on to Lexia at some point today and our writing. So we're continuing on with our brainstorming of realistic fiction. Yesterday, we focused on brainstorming our character. Today, we're going to brainstorm um, our setting. So remember, a setting is when and where a story takes place. So I've done an example. On the left-hand side, where does my story take place? So remember, my characters were going to be Sarah and Ryan. They were siblings. And my story is going to take place in their home in the city of Tustin. And um, it's going to be summertime, so it's going to be very hot outside. And the story is going to take place over a couple of days. So it's going to start the night before, and it's going to head into the next morning. So that's kind of my setting uh, for my realistic fiction story. So go ahead and get your setting brainstorm today and have fun with it. Our math warm-up today, which one doesn't belong? So I've given you four different dice. And um, I want you to look at them, examine them, use your critical thinking skills. Which one of those die do you think does not belong and why? Okay, you have a CGI problem today in math. I did give you a hint. This is a multi-step problem. So really take it one set, uh, sentence and step at a time and think about what you're doing. It says Ashton has a collection of fruit snacks. He has blank bags with him. I'm sorry, you wanna read that again. He has blank bags with blank fruit snacks in each bag. His mom gives him blank more bags. How many fruit snacks does Ashton have in all? So you're going to choose one of those number sets and fill the numbers in the blanks and then solve the problem. I think a good strategy would likely be to draw a picture that will um, definitely help you to get a visual and be able to um, really see the problem and visualize the problem as you're working through it. Fluency check, just some addition and some subtraction. My um, caution is please, please watch your symbols. Make sure that you know if you are adding or subtracting. Freckle, always an option for extra math. Uh, which parts for science, which parts help transport pollen or seeds? So we've been talking for a few weeks now about pollinators and several of those animals and insects we've talked about. So um, pick, a, pick an animal and which part of that animal is going to help transport the pollen or seeds? And then explain your thinking at the bottom. I've given you another page just in case you want to draw a picture or write a little bit more. And then we have our PE today. So just different ideas there. As always, Go Noodle. Go Noodle has so many um, new things out there right now. They have dances, they have indoor recess, they have lots and lots of fun activities. And then, of course, we have Coach C's website where he has lots of fun things as well. So um, I really encourage you to uh, join in on that. Get some exercise today. Get your mind moving. Get, give yourself a little bit of a brain break. 
and um, have a fabulous Thursday.